Hello everybody, um, here I am on another floor, it's where I belong. Today's video is like a, I think I've done one of these every year, it's like the holiday season, tis the season to repeat videos you've done for the last six years of your life. Um, it's just like a wrap up video of 2017, it was a wild in year. It was my best year ever, super hype about that. I had like a moment where I was like, yep, that was the best year ever. So that was really fun. <laughs> um, I'm debating making coffee, but I don't need coffee and I'm really sweaty right now. I just walked to get my laundry and it was far and the laundry was heavy. I paid way too much, so I'm just at a crossroads in my life. But also the church in Cambodia gave us these little bracelets and they remind me of the power balance bracelets from like middle school so it makes me feel like a little boy and like I hate it but I kind of like it but I hate it. 2017 I feel like every single person ever and their mother and their cat says this like you start somewhere completely different but literally like last year January I wanted to be in Colorado or somewhere and I'm in Chiang Mai Thailand right now so things really took a 360 um, ended up on the other side of the world but that's okay. <laughs> it just makes me ex I think the toilet just was talking to itself. And like the last four months I've spent with people that I didn't even know existed until four months ago. Um, I went, I don't even know if I knew Cambodia existed. That's awful. But I'm sure I'd heard of it, but I definitely didn't know Seam Reap existed. And I don't even think I had like ever thought about Cambodia ever and I went there for an extension of time like it's just crazy I didn't even have Oregon on my map and yet like God fulfilled the want of going to out west in the form of Oregon and like I couldn't imagine it happening any happening any differently um, it's just crazy the things that like you want and you ask for and just like what you actually get is so much sweeter and more rewarding than what you actually wanted in the first place and that's what's cool about journaling I wish I had my um I should have brought my uh, senior year journal just so I could be looking at what I wrote last time this year and I'm so mad I don't have it on me it's at home and if my mom's reading it I'm gonna be mad that's, that's a whole other topic um, but even like in the last like four months, I was looking back at some of the stuff from like September and I was like, whoa, look at how that played out. And I'm able to see like, whoa, in that moment, I knew I should have done that and I didn't do it and this is what happened and I'll remember next time. <laughs> My like definition of hope this year has been like redefined. Like I feel like at least I did this. I think a lot of people probably do this. You look at everything in front of you, like all your circumstances and try to mold them into like it's like a puzzle but the pieces don't fit together but you're here trying to jam in the corner into the middle and it's just like nothing's working out because like they're not supposed to go together but we as people just look at what only we can see like surface level so you're trying to fit everything together when it's not going to fit together and um the redefinition of hope i got is like seeing all the circumstances being like hey I don't know how these things are going to fit together, but then looking behind you and look at what has been done and has been pulled together from circumstances like the ones that are in front of you and going, okay, God worked that out for the greater good, like this will be okay. And so, um, yeah, I have not thought about where I'm going to college really at all. And last year at this time I was having an actual spasm. So uh, 360 on that. It's 2018. I will be attending this year, hopefully. That is the goal. Um, but we don't know what we're doing with that. And that's okay, because I'm not gonna... If I could take back anything from 2017, it was the stress of like the first half of the year of where the heck I was supposed to be, because I ended up exactly where I was supposed to be, literally on the last day. Like as soon as I told my parents that I didn't want to go to college, things got 200% better because I just stated that I knew that I wasn't supposed to do something and I wanted to but it wasn't going to happen and then things just everything else fell together <laughs> so I'm not going to waste like six months of my life trying to push things together like I did last year when they're just not supposed to be. Usually I've learned here I hope I've been in focus this whole video that would actually be the worst thing since sliced bread but it's fine. I think this fresh is the best thing but 
That's all I got. <laughs> That's my life. 2018. I'm really excited though for this year. Um, I've never like been excited for a year, but like looking at how so much happened in my last year and seeing how God worked through the last year, I like can't imagine how things are gonna go for the rest of time. <laughs>